With Citizens Insurance being the largest insurer in Florida, this rate hike will affect a lot of Floridians, nearly 1.4 million of them. Thank you for hosting us here, and we have a few comments from the provost. The people in charge at Citizens got together and heard from the CEO about why the state-backed insurer needs a rate hike, about 12.3 percent, or around four to six hundred dollars more on the average policy, depending upon several factors. Nobody wants to pay higher insurance rates. I don't want to do that, but we are actually unsound. What that means, the CEO says, is Citizens has way too many policies and is charging way below the state averages for private insurance and stands to take a big hit if we get hit with a costly storm. And unsound rates means that there could be less surplus to pay claims and an, increase, an increased risk of assessments. Those assessments could be set on every Florida resident to help bail out Citizens. Currently, Citizens is trying to push policies to private insurance, but in many cases, the new rates are way beyond the recommended 20% increase. And one board member had issue with how it's all going. And let's just splatter it all out there. Uh, we're going to raise rates beyond the 20%, and I think you said in a big way, um, or, you know, really a lot in a lot of cases. And, you know, it feels to me like they're banking on people not reading the mail. Robert Norberg in Lantana says his clients are reading the letters, and in many cases, the answer is clear. Right now, at about 50% of my assumption, clients are choosing to stay with citizens. And it's not because they are close in premium. It's because the offers are way out of range than what they're used to. So the citizens' rate hike averages out to around 12%, but policyholders won't know until after mid-December renewals to find out just how much more they'll have to pay. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.